you would have to look really far into the future to have the kind of flooding you would need to have a water dominated world. So if we lost the Arctic ice sheets and the Antarctic ice sheets, we would see a sea level rise of more than 60 meters, between 150 to 200 feet. Florida would be gone and coastal California, particularly the river valleys would be completely flooded. So if the earth flooded more in the distant future, you would get shallow seas covering many of the continents uh, where they don't exist today. And that's actually what marine life loves. It loves these shallow epicontinental seas. Hunting and aquatic food supply would be primary. Cats in this water world, they're done. If food on land is scarce, there's only one place to go. Some cats could possibly handle marine predators. Jaguars like to swim a lot, and they actually have webbing on their feet that helps them. Tigers swim a lot too. They can dive, they can chase prey underwater, and so do jaguars. So how would the descendants of tigers or leopards look if they had to spend time hunting in the water? Cats would have to get a curly, oily coat like a water retriever, not straight like their hair is now. They would need bigger lungs so they could hold their breath. They would also have to develop shorter and more powerful limbs. But to really make it in a water world, cats would likely need to find a niche. There have been predators in marine environments throughout time. Those cats who are suddenly no longer able to be on land are gonna be confronted with these highly evolved, well-adapted marine predators. If water is in the distant future, big cats would need big change. It's happened before. Almost 50 million years ago, a mammal with four legs, a long tail, and lots of sharp teeth started spending more time hunting around the water. Over millions of years, Pachycetus evolved into a hybrid animal that was part aquatic. By 40 million years ago, this former land mammal was now an ocean-dwelling hunter called Dordon. It's an ancestor of today's whale. Could a similar evolution await the tigers and lions of today? <laughs>